In this video, we're quickly going to talk about the Poisson distribution. So here's the, the setup for the Poisson distribution. It's spelled P-O-I-S-S-O-N, so Poisson. So mu, which is our expected value, this is the mean number of successes so, so far, nothing here is really different from the binomial. In the binomial, it's, ex it's exactly the same thing. It's the mean number of successes. The only difference here is that in the Poisson, um, it's happening over an interval of time. So time is actually passing. So over an interval of time. Okay, so the setup is you have uh, a mean number of successes over an interval of time. That's the key. Usually in the problems you're given something like, you know, deaths per year, um, checks per month. You're given an average over a period of time, and that's how you know um, it's going to be a Poisson problem. Uh, the formula for exactly x successes Uh, is the following. So it's P of X, and it's equal to, that's a fraction, it's a scary looking formula. It's E, this is the E for math, uh, E is like 2.7 something, negative mu times mu to the X over X factorial. Really crazy looking formula. Uh, that's the formula for the uh, Poisson distribution, for the probability of exactly x successes. We won't be using it. We'll be using software to compute the probabilities, but I just wanted to show you the formula so you're aware that it does exist. Uh, so as we said, mu, mu is the expected value. That's the mean. So mu is the expected value. And then this is kind of cool. The standard deviation is sigma, right? That's the square root of the mean. That's the formula. Kind of cool. And this is even weirder. If you square the left-hand side, you get sigma squared. So that's, that's the variance, right, variance. And if you square the right-hand side, the square root goes away. So the variance is equal to the mean. That's, that's kind of weird. So that happens for the uh, Poisson distribution. So just some semi-useful formulas. Mu is the mean or expected value. This one here is the standard deviation. And then this one here is the variance. And again, the setup for Poisson is you have, um, you're counting successes over a period of time. You have to assume that your successes are random, they're independent, and they're uniformly distributed over the period of time. So they don't, they don't, they don't all happen at one point in the interval. They're, they're kind of spread out. Um, I hope that made sense. In the next video, we'll actually do some examples of computing probabilities with the Poisson.